lecture I am going to discuss what how to connect Microsoft SQL Server with VB.NET. So let's open here Visual Studio 2022 and this place is going to create the new project. So here all language selected, selecting Visual Basic, this place so console application. Uh, selecting your console application .NET framework. Click on this next here if you want then you can give the meaningful name of the project and here selecting 4.8 is the latest now let's click on this create so project is uh, creating uh, this place and uh, this is the by default uh, you can get now thereafter i already have the codes so without wasting time so i'm going to copy this code and pasting inside there so code pasted successfully now here you can see uh, this all those things so first here opening the uh, SL. Okay, let's close that and opening SSMS Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, this will I will show you all these things here. You can see database, localhost, Windows, authentication. If I click on this, then it's uh, connected. Same as here, server name, localhost, trusted connection, yes, no need to give the password user, and database is now Adam. So here you can see this is the list of database Adam that I'm using. Now the next is here you can see command text this table that I'm using uh, is called to EMP. So if I right click then you can see top thousand then you can get here this called EMP. After that the next is here you can see or dim SQL connection this is the connection part and object created SQL command object created data reader here main so con value that go to connection cmd connection then here this uh, command text is now this uh, query is there so with the help of this query we can select the sql.emp table records connection that's open then cmd that execute the query cmd this here that execute done query then after dras here cmd execute query then for list I am using so one by one dr value that go to items and here zero placeholder this is a zero one two is the placeholder so zero place you can get your column first column records so first column records here you know you can see emp number and here gate values first uh, here gate values one then second column records ename then value gate and here each value then here second so this place you can get your job okay so for each loop continue until the rows uh, value is finished so if the finish then there that comes to then that close the dear value or dear data reader object close here connection and console.return this take one input from keyword and that display the output so now i'm going to run this query sorry run this code then you can get here uh, this place the uh, gate here 0 1 2 so first second third only two three columns that selected three placeholder and this here you can say score.emp table records okay now if you want to display only two so here let's remove and here this place uh, uh, remove then here let's click on this run then you can get here only two so two is now that's displaying this process okay so this is how we can here connect microsoft sql server with vb.net okay so this is the way we can connect so you need you can write this code manually it's too simple okay so I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.